everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a decorating, fall decorating of my farmhouse kitchen. I went to Walmart and picked up a few items to incorporate in my kitchen and I'm going to use some things that I have currently in my home just to give it a little bit of fall and autumn flair. So let me show you what I picked up at Walmart. The first thing is I picked up this Harvest Bowl, bowl can't talk, bowl filler. And it has all these earth tone pumpkins inside. And guys, this was only $3. And I seen something similar like this at Hobby Lobby and other craft stores. And it was a little bit more. And even with the coupon, it still wasn't as low as 3 The next thing I found, which I'm extremely happy about this, are these beautiful pumpkins. They are made of like a styrofoam. And this one is like kind of like a light green, greenish blue. And then I picked up a cream one, so I got two different two different styles. And then the last one I got was this little bit taller one that has that greenish and blue. And then this one, these pumpkins were $5.98. I did check several craft stores and things like that, and they were like double that price. And then with the 50% off coupon, it was still like $8. So I'm happy I found that. The next things I found, which I'm extremely happy about that, is they now have this white cotton stem at Walmart, and this whole thing was $4. I know at Joann's are having all their florals on sale right now, and even with the price cut, with the discount and all that over there, it's still for this amount, no way in heck will you get it for $4. And I also picked up eucalyptus they have tons of eucalyptus there and it's the same price four dollars so i was extremely happy and i picked up three strings i couldn't help myself when i got home i basically took it out and tried to play around and style with it so i'm going to hopefully be able to use that in my kitchen this fall the next thing i found these were three dollars and these were sunflowers and these were the ones that i could find that look the most real and i picked up two of these at Walmart and I'm super excited about that so that was really really awesome the next thing I did pick up now I like to try to burn and use as much natural ingredients and things household products makeup everything in my home as much as possible but sometimes I cannot resist and this candle is from Walmart and it was three dollars and it's called Vanilla, as you can see here. It's, I think it's the Walmart brand, and it smells amazing, and I think it's going to be perfect in my kitchen. So let's go ahead, flip this camera around, and see how I'm gonna style my kitchen. Give me a thumbs up if you love fall decor videos. Let me know in the comments below if you want more fall decor videos of my home. And remember to hit that subscribe button and also that bell so you can be notified of all my videos that I post in the future. I'd love to have you along, follow along, um, and creating this wonderful community and I hope that you guys keep returning. So let's turn this camera around and check out how I decorate for fall in my kitchen. Okay, I budget all my fall decor every year and I give myself very little because I do love a challenge and searching for the best deals is my jam. I know, right, kind of crazy. However, when I walk into a store, I usually disregard my budget and load my cart with tons of goodies that are out of budget. So first things first, let's go ahead and light that fall candle and get us in the fall spirit. First I'm decorating with those large pumpkins that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I decided to put them in this shelf that has glass doors and I think I'm going to add some eucalyptus. So right now I'm basically taking all the items out of my shelving unit in my kitchen, giving it a good wipe down and then I'm going to play around and add my fall decor.
When creating any seasonal decor, I like to keep it simple and minimum and incorporate it in what I currently have in my home. My fall kitchen is no different and I try to be very thrifty and purchase the new items to keep up with the trends. I like to stay within the classics, go to the Dollar Tree, Walmart, and even thrift stores. Most of the things here I either found at a thrift store or a garage sale. And I just added the seasonal decor that I picked up at Walmart. Now it's time to do something with these cottonweed and sunflowers and basically what I'm going to do is make a, an arrangement along with the eucalyptus in these measuring cups that I found at an antique store on the other side of my state and this white pitcher that I also found at an antique store. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm playing around with the flowers to make a nice flower arrangement to give it that real look instead of the fake look. One thing I know about decorating, it is a work in progress and it is just like a fashion statement or trend. It changes from year to year, season to season, and I know basically you have to find your style and feed off of that. So I'm no expert, I am learning as I'm going and I love using my creativity towards the decor of my home. Next I'm adding a couple of little picks in my herbs that are growing above my kitchen sink and these were just found at my local thrift store. I am moving on to decorating my windowsill and I usually like to put a seasonal candle above here and then I'm taking those sunflower arrangements and kind of arranging it on my windowsill with, along with the small pumpkins that I found in the bowl filler. And nothing's not complete without your seasonal dishcloth. Another thing I love during the fall season is my seasonal drinks. I found these pumpkin spice coffee K-cups at Trader Joe's and I picked up this spice tea as well and I do like my flavored creams with my coffee as well. Do you guys have a favorite fall drink that you like to drink during the holiday season? If so, let me know in the comments below. One thing I did forget to mention is I did pick up mums at Walmart as well and here I'm using a bowl to give some little bit of elevation in my crack and place a pot of mums inside to put in my walkway in my kitchen that goes into my family room.
So these next items were a pleasant surprise that I found in the grocery section at Walmart. No, I'm not using them in the kitchen, but I am using them on my front porch. And if you'd love to see a video on how I decorated my front porch this fall, let me know in the comments below. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by Walmart, even though I love them too. And I'm sorry, no fall decor is not complete without baked goods. I am basically plating these pumpkin chocolate muffins. They are gluten free, my kids love them. And I do have a recipe video and a blog post on this. So I'll put that in the cards above. Now I'm out in my herb garden, clipping some of my herbs so I can preserve them to use all winter long. And I have basil, oregano, thyme, and rosemary along with parsley. So I'm tying the herbs with twine and I'm hanging them upside down so they can dry out and I can use them all winter long. If you have a true farmhouse kitchen, you do want herbs coming in during the fall season so you can use them all winter long as well. enjoyed my farmhouse fall kitchen if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you love these type of videos let me know in the comments below remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified of any videos that I post in the future I hope you guys are having a great fall season and enjoying this beautiful weather and I hope this video inspires you to get decorating in your home until next time I'll see you guys real soon